Alright, Mukuru Ikasaba had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. Yeah, she didn't wear any gloves, right? That's right. There was no such tattoo. Perfect. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. <laughs> but that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. So why are you gonna try and use Ki Kyoko? Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Remember, we're not talking about Monokuma the bear, we're talking about the person controlling him. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you, but what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. No snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. You're gonna take off your right hand glove? Before anyone else could say anything. Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hand! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burnt skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put the gloves back on. My scars should suffice as proof. Yeah, the... Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? Nope. The handles was really clean. Again, the PNG file, the white stuff. No, God damn it. Not at all. I'm <coughs> then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> this is just awful! On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours! Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? This Dude, this is Kyoko. She doesn't give a shit. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Kyoko has a big butt and I cannot lie! Sure. Anything? As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? just yet because if you haven't noticed the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown that's true all we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning on the contrary we don't know anything other than that you're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something are you no we're not gonna say that <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Okay. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. Killed in secret? Or publicly executed alongside all of us that we witness? And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your blue brain. Then, she was being stored somewhere? Oh yeah, the, uh, mor morgue. But to hide a body hide here, a body. there's only one place. That's the pool. It is the pool. No, the kitchen. We've been eating her carcasses the entire time. Uh, seriously, game, you're just trying to make this way too easy as it needed to be. On the fifth floor? Mm. That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. The proof that shows the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden. 
There's something that made it its way from the barrel up to the garden. Okay. What does it say exactly? Due to the explosion, the incident is unknown. However, they're dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed, blah, 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 blah. Also had been struck with a head by a metal pipe and a thick. Okay. Okay. Places a check. That can't be it, right? Tarp. Oh! Derp. I got it. <laughs> What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says bio lab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? So the text was really tiny, I'm guessing. Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. Thanks for the compliment, Byakuya. This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. <laughs> I like how Makoto's facial expression is just... Yeah, you know what? Fuck you too, Byakuya. Yeah. See me? I'm gonna finger, even though that's the index finger, not the middle one. Okay. <laughs> uh. There's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the code on it afterwards. You made everything sound so amazing like- So go stop being a boner for goddamn Kyoko. <laughs> That's just a wild guess! Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved! There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. Oh, well, thanks for the help, Kyoko. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Oh, uh, yeah. So that definitely seems suspicious. Why would you react so... vacious, vicariously like that? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room. Isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, Ooh. the bio lab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. An inconsistency in the bio lab. Is this has to do with the amount of dead bodies stored in the bio labs? Could you be talking about? I can't hear you. La, 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 la. <sighs> oh god. Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hmm. I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about? Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. <sighs> I'm pretty sure everyone else had the video message as well, somehow. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Oh man. Wow, we're gonna have to uncover every fucking thing. Even to the ones that, like, I almost forgot about in the second or first chapter. I don't even remember what chapter this was mentioned. Jesus Christ. Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think is into your family. Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? <sighs> Stop talking about that! Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. This might not have to do with the case at all, or... Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the biolab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be the one area where the numbers... Don't match up. Yeah, thanks for giving us the goddamn hint, game. All right. More testimonies or what? The moment of truth. Oh, okay. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. How do I reload again? There we go. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Oh. Okay, this is getting a lot faster than it needs to be. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Okay, there we go. Final strike. I'm not listening! What, what? Is this not it? 
Uh, what? Are you sure about this? Do I have to press the left upper or something? I must think something. I'm not listening. Lights! There we go. The lights! Inconsistence with the amount of dead people here. There are seven lights that are still inactive. Jesus Christ. I forgot that the... Okay. I guess I was just going, going on autopilot for a second. What are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine lights. Only nine. Seven unactive lights. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. God damn it, Yasuhiro. Nine nights doesn't make sense. The number of lights that should be on is ten. Equating to ten dead bodies. I got it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Ah. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Saika died first. Junko was second. I had to remember by what rewatching some of my Let's Plays just to remember this girl, so that's how I'm able to remember her now and not beforehand. Leon was the third, executed. I'm gonna probably chalk that out separately. Chira was fourth because everyone, what thing, everyone witnessed. Okay, whatever. Chira was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth. Then Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Soccer was ninth. And the victim, number 10, was Murkuro. Hmm. So, any people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. Exactly. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappeared? Either that, or the dead body's being reused. Destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. Or that could also be a possibility as well. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. That is true. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? It may very well be that none of them disappeared. Well, if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match, including Monokuma's executions? There have apparently been 10 deaths, but there were only 9 bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? If one of the victims' bodies being reused, the reason there are less bodies than murders, the explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? That would... What would it take for that to make sense? Same person was killed twice, only 9 murders took place. Destroyed a body. That no, we already established that's not it. Only nine murders took place. Again, that can't be it too because most of them were execution. So the same body was killed twice. What about it? The same person was killed twice. Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far, but one of the victims may have been murdered and then murdered again. Murdered him. Murdered again. Yep, super murdered. <laughs> if that's the case. There could have been 10 killings, but still only 9 victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. But still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab. So are saying Mukuru Ikusaba also has a hidden identity as one of the students as well? Is that the case? No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have 
to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Just in case. Bodily injuries. Before the scars. Oh, no, it's not that one. <coughs> Fiddle injury. Fiddle injury would have appeared to be a collection of wounds covering her body. Oh, it's so obviously Junko then. Nothing's gonna become obvious. Again, same bus size, same height, and same weight. Looks like I'm gonna have to present who's this dead victim, huh? Okay. Make your argument. Monokuma file number five. Okay. That states the, uh... Alright. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka, my zono? Okay, so it's stating specifically Junko who. And Oshima? Leon no, not Leon! God damn it! Chihiro Fujisaki, Mondo okay, I get it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I know who it is. Same for the same injuries. Not Leon. There we go. <laughs> Celestia, I like that. It's like. They can't even first fucking pronounce Ludenberg. It's not that hard of a last name. Okay. Okay, so it's the last quote then. BAM! Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Well, remember what happened to her? Lots of spiled pikes she onto. Hailed by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered. And the similarities match? Yes. And those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. Comparing the measurements as well, once again. Let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. That explains the nails, too. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... What does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims. But nine, which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. No, that can't be it because she also, the dead body also has the uh, tattoo. So it's assumed that Junko and Mukuro are the same people, right? that's still alive is Murkrow, but can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Murkrow Ikusaba is still alive. Alright. <coughs> Evidence time! <laughs> what the fuck's Mount Nakuma, like, looking disappointed in? I think she's disappointed in Toko, if anything. Fatal injury. Profile. It has to be the profile. Measurements, I'm guessing? This is where it's mentioned? Okay. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is. 
What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm. I can't really dispute that. <laughs> okay. For that to be true, then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? The body we found wasn't Mokuro. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like so the mastermind's true identity is Mokuro. That's not it, okay. I think I'm kind of on the right track, though. I got one more chance. It has to be the first one, then, isn't it? Oh, shit. It's went to the back. Okay, it went back to the beginning. Oh, shit! There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I was on the right track with her profile. No. The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her. And once again, appearance and measurements with Junko are also the same. Right, Kyoko? Even though the boobs look weird, but okay. She was five foot six inches tall and weighed ninety-seven pounds. Wait, I thought she was her five foot seven inches. Did I get the regular? Wait, did I get the uh, measurements wrong? Did I say? Did I accidentally said five point seven? Five foot seven. Ninety-seven pounds, thirty-one inches. Thirty-two. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. I is that a typo? Where the fuck? Kyoko, you made a fuck up. Her height says five foot seven inches. Oh my god, okay. I, I think I found a typo there. That has to be a typo, either that or... That's like a very minor faint hit that somehow Kyoko suspicious. Uh. But if Mokuro is not the master, then who's still actually... Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. Is this the accusation time? Select someone! Okay, so, Leon... Yeah, he's definitely dead! Pelted with a bunch of... Ifumi... Okay, yeah, he's been murdered. Saika, murdered. Kiyoshiki, murdered. Junko, definitely murdered. Unless... Hmm. Sa Sakura, definitely murdered. <laughs> She's still alive. Mondo, definitely murdered from that <laughs> ride. Malkuma... Chihiro... If he's, she's still alive, that could be a possibility, too. Yeah, okay, yeah, she's, he's still alive. Celeste, I'm really suspicious of Celeste, but that may be because of a photo. You know what, just for fun, I'm gonna do that. Wait, hold on, I'm not really sure about- Okay, so it can't be Celeste, it's not Celeste. Okay, let me re review myself again. Someone made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. Made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. I'm really... <gasps> I mean, the programming is... No, okay, it can't be that. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Alright. So, my last guess. Hmm? <sighs> Why the fuck not? I don't know. Here's my okay, so she's still alive then. Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? Huh? Was it? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. But we all did see Junko murdered, so unless that made it look like she's dead. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would have had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now that you mention it... I gently placed my head on Junko's lifeless body. 
I touched her wrist, check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check, absolutely, and I can say for sure. She was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So, the idea that she's still alive. It must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion mm. was a dud. God, what is a good explanation for this shit? <laughs> This case hasn't been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? Okay, are we gonna somehow assume that her sh dead body was a charade or something? No, of course not! There's no way I'd give up that easy! That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Ugh. Absolutely Ow, fuck. Died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. Mm. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. The opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? What if Junko was programmed similar to what Monokuma's technology is? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? I checked her, she was dead, I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the only one that died? It wasn't Junko, someone else entirely? Maybe she used some sort of trick. Okay, that's, oh my god. Another hangman's game with Jesus Christ. Okay, this one's gonna be tough because I have no clue at all. Maybe words can give me a hint. R, P, and C. R, E, S, P, E, C, T. No, that can't be it. R, I. Rip. It has to be a vowel. vowel. So it's either an E or an I. R oh, no, that can't be it. R, D, no. R rap. Rap, red, rid. You know what? I'm gonna die anyway, so might as well just try all the vowels. Let's try A. Oh, oh, no, let's try E. It is E! Okay. Rep. 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 It could be L. P and L could go together. So it's either a vowel or an L. Rep. 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 Oh, God, this is tough. Let's try L. It, oh, wow, that was a lucky guess. Okay. Replicas? Replicas? No, it's not replicas. Okay. Repla. Unless I spelled replica wrong. Repla. Ka. If an, another A shows up, then. Replace. Replace. Replaced. D. No, 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 not I. Shit. Okay. Where's the D? Where the fuck's the D? Give me the D! <clears throat> Give me that D! Replaced. Okay, that was a lot tougher than it needed to be, but okay. Even without knowing the answer, then at least she was replaced somehow. What if she switched places with someone else? Switch places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? Yeah. I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... What happened during, uh, quote-unquote Mukuro's death, a.k.a. Junko's replacement death? So Junko is the mastermind? That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? That is a good question, Jesus Christ. How the fuck are we gonna... Oh shit, it's almost 30 minutes, we should probably take a quick break beforehand. So we'll be right back with the next episode. Stay tuned for that.